Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazaro's chess channel and welcome to our series playing d4. So in this series we're covering some good lines against particular openings, against particular defenses that black can choose and also of course against some particular sidelines of openings. I think we, in this series we can have really a good opening preparation while playing of course the first move d4 and today we're trying to battle again against the Dutch defense, against the stonewall setup uh, that black can play. It's the setup when black plays f5, uh, e6, d5 and c6 so what we can notice always about these pawn structures is that black builds a very firm pawn structure on life course but then he can face also some dark square problems so that's the main issue when you play this weak square complex when you play too many pawns on the same uh, colors so that's a very tricky idea then you can also face some other problems positional problems in the game so as my uh, uh, as i've explained also in my previous videos my recommendation to beat the stonewall dutch is to go into the knight to h3 line i've explained it in my previous videos if you went want to get a better understanding of this particular video you can also check out my previous videos from the, of the series this knight to h3 uh, move has really a great uh, positional idea we can place uh, bishop to f4 i'll explain of course in the continuation of, uh, of this game that i wanted to show you today it's a great game uh, played by vichy anand against uh, also respected grandmaster predrag nikolic so this knight to h3 may seem to as a strange idea placing the knight on, on the edge of the board but it's really a nice and a great and uh, pragmatic positional idea that why can choose in order to beat the stonewall dutch so let's check out now the game and i'll explain of course the main ideas about this move so d4 uh, f5 g3 first of all we should go into the so-called fianchetto attack with bishop to g2 so knight to f6 bishop to g2 e6 and now we have c4 so d5 uh, we're now delaying the situation with this knight with the queen knight to h3 uh, here vishyanan plays a little bit a different move order than in my previous analyzed games we can also play knight to d2 followed with queen to c2 but now knight to h3 immediately uh, played by vishy we have c6 and now uh castling by anand we have bishop to d6 and i as I will um, explain so far in the series, uh, Black always relies, first of all, on his long diagonal of the dark square bishop and relies simply on his uh, potential outpost uh, of the knight on e4. But what we can notice now, we can go always into the positional trades of pieces with bishop to f4. That's the main... Uh, uh, the main part of this uh, setup but uh, with the move knight to h3 because we can recapture with the move knight takes f4 we don't have to recapture with the pawn and from this square from the f4 square the knight can always remaneuver here to d3 and then occupy the weak square e5 we can also then use knight to d2 knight to f3 and again occupy the weak square e5 that's the main issue uh, of this setup as i said when we place too many pawns on um on the same color squares then you leave also some weaknesses behind that's what i meant uh, the c5 e5 weakness even g5 here is a weakness in some occasions we could face c7 b7 really the dark square weaknesses are all over the board so that's why we should go as i said into positional trades of pieces getting rid of the key defender of dark squares it's of course the dark square bishop so here uh, queen to c2 play by anand castling knight to d2 so it was a different move order that i've uh, suggested you but uh, again the same uh, setup here by anand we have bishop to uh, d7 you see many times in the stonewall dutch that uh, black will try to remaneuver the bishop here with uh, bishop to d7 bishop to e8 and then bishop to h5 because what we can notice when you place this uh, pawns on many uh, many pawns on life words then the life word bishop is a bad piece so the main uh, positional idea about this setup of blacks is to get some kind of an activity with bishop to e8 and bishop to h5 but <coughs> <coughs> But the problem is about this uh, idea that you have to uh, play many, many times with the bishop. You have to play at least, let's see, one, two, three times with the bishop in order to improve it. Meanwhile, we can do, of course, something because the black uh, is playing many times with the same piece. So that's why here Vichy goes for the normal idea, knight to f3, and now bishop to f4, the main positional goal to get rid of the dark square bishop. So bishop to e8, again, bishop to f4 h6 and now we have queen to b3 because the bishop has left now the defense of the b7 the b7 becomes really a problem now for black because uh you cannot um play bishop to h5 will simply take um uh, the bishop here and queen takes d6 and then here we can take this weak pawn so it's not a good choice 
uh, that's why uh, here b6 has to be played but now rook from f to c1 here Vishyanan really uh, plays a great great game because uh, he he's of course noticing that uh, the c7 is also here a weak square in the position and maybe the c file could get open and we can place our rook somewhere maybe very actively on the seventh rank so this wasn't played in the game but let's see the possible continuation if Predrag Nikolic would have played the move bishop to h5 you see how risky this position can be because again we can play bishop to d6 queen to d6 and now knight to e5 uh, again targeting here the weak c6 uh, square uh, here if you try for instance to challenge uh, the knight we can play c takes d5 and after uh, c takes d5 you see rook to c6 comes very excellent to the game and now knight to f4 as i said when your opponent is placing so many pawns on life course then uh, we should always attack the dark course you see the knight comes on a very active score uh, here this knight comes on a very active score we have also a serious threat here knight to g6 if you take for instance d takes e5 uh, the knight has to uh, move somewhere and you have lost your bishop on h5 so really really already some great tactical ideas here for white so after the move rook from f to c1 in the game Nik uh, Nikolic tried bishop to e7 he's trying to stay with the bishop uh, on the board as i said this bishop on f4 is a little bit misplaced maybe because there is always this tactical threat now to play g5 and then maybe g4 the fork on both of these knights but here we should go c takes d5 uh, we have knight to d5 if you for instance uh, play c takes d5 then it's a very risky choice because you get bishop to c7 and there are basically no good squares for the queen queen to d7 will be met with knight to e5 if you get the queen on the c file then the queen gets on the same file like the rook so it could be also a very risky position so if you take here with the pawn uh, with the e pawn then you face always this problem of the, of the backward pawn and uh, here we can again play something like knight to e5 i think again uh, black has several positional problems so that's why you see uh, knight to d5 had to be played but now we should go bishop to d2 now again we can target our weak e5 pawn in the game g5 knight to e5 and now a5 uh, attacking the queen uh, here possibly with the uh, move a4 and in the game e4 played by vichy and that's really i think such a great move by anand because he realized of course uh, that uh, black has built here his normal dutch defense attack uh, with this three connected pawn so one of the best ideas to play against the spawn storms is uh, to undermine the pressure of them so that's why this move e4 is very impo uh, very important if you play something like a4 then we can remaneuver the queen again to a very active uh, square queen to d3 and again you have to take uh, f takes e5, uh, e4 bishop to e4 comes now very actively into the game you see again you have some troubles in front of the king knight to g6 is a, a possibility even f4 is here a possibility maybe something like king to h1 uh king to h1 rook to g1 and then f4 really uh black, uh, black has some troubles white, white has here a flexible game so after the move e4 f takes e4 bishop to e4 rook to a7 was played by nico he realized that he could maybe have some tactical problems on the seventh rank he has to um, bring some more pieces into the defense but it's still a weak position because Vishyanan breaks again the position immediately with the move f4 that's really Vichy style uh, simply straightforward attack after the move g takes f4 here comes really the tricky part of uh, Anand's preparation he plays the move king to h1 that's I think uh, very very nice because he sacrifices the pawn the problem is now that black cannot proceed with f takes g3 you get simply queen to g3 and uh, you have to move your king somewhere you get knight to g6 very very tricky move bishop takes g6 and it's already game over we can take take and now queen to h6 and now rook to g1 wins the game of course immediately uh, we can play knight to g5 knight to e6 really simply too much pressure to handle here for for uh, for black so in the game after the move king to h1 Nikolic didn't take he realized his tactical problems he played bishop to f6 but now knight to f4 if you play knight takes f4 this wasn't also played in the game we can play bishop to f4 and uh, here again if you try queen to c um, uh, queen to c8 maybe to protect your weak e6 pawn then we can simply take out this pawn 
uh, still I think there are simply too many threats knight to g6 again uh, maybe getting use of the f-file somehow so again black has several problems to face so after the move knight to f4 in the game queen to d6 was played uh, trying maybe something like bishop takes e5 followed with queen to d5 but in the game knight to g6 you see the attacking harmony uh, with the pieces here all of the pieces are playing in such a great coordination here bishop to h6 is also a threat so it's move 21 and black is uh, basically lost here so after the move bishop takes g6 we have knight to g6 attacking the rook rook to f7 and now bishop to f4 uh here bishop takes f4 uh, the g takes f4 um if you try uh, something like uh, here in the game continuation was bishop to g7 was play if you try bishop to d4 it's uh, maybe slightly better than this move that Nikolic played, but again, uh, queen to h3, uh, that's our main tactical goal. And we can also, some in some occasions, try, maybe if this uh, game would have played like this, rook to g1, getting the uh, getting use of the g-file. Even if this bishop takes, still we can use another rook and create really enormous pressure on the g-file, because the h7 is also a weakness. This bishop is very active, again, a nice attacking setup here. Maybe rook to g7 can be played, but now rook to c2 um, and black is basically forced to give up some material because now we can finally play rook to uh, g2 and then queen to h6 is game over i think for black so after the move g takes f4 uh, here bishop to g7 was played by nikolic but now queen to h3 anyway attacking the weak h6 pawn in the game rook to f6 and now rook to c3 uh, vichy plays a very nice rook lift he wants, of course, get use of the uh, uh, G file, but in some occasions we can also, of course, get use of the C file because still uh, Black hasn't played with the knight. The knight has to come into the game somehow, and uh, when you do that, then uh, the C6 is also a long-term weakness. So in the game, Queen takes D4, um, Vichy sacrifices the pawn, but not a problem because it basically improves his position. Queen to G2, we have now a very nice battery. We still have the tension on the G file. Rook to D7, we have Rook to G1. And now uh, B5, we have Rook to G3, very nice battery. And now Queen to A7, Knight to E5, you see all of the pieces are basically on the best squares. You see we have a uh, triple battery here knight take knight on on a very active square the bishop is on this long diagonal very very active so as i said the evaluation here is simply winning for white so rook to e7 we have queen to d2 uh, queen to c7 protecting of course here our weak d8 square in the game rook to d3 again vish is trying to sneak in with his pieces on the eighth rank that's why rook to e8 and now rook to d6 you see simply great attacking formation here every move is an attacking move by Vishiana. every move is really forcing again black to react that's i think uh how you should attack really always search for the next best active square on the board try to see new activities for your minor pieces because you see vishyan tried an attack on the g file okay black defended then he changed the direction of the attack tried now an attack on the d file very very uh, nice play by vishy so uh, here c5 we have knight to g4 attacking the rook rook to f8 and now knight to h6 it's uh, really really a bad position king to h8 knight to g4 again rook to d8 and now queen to g2 uh vichy sacrifices the rook but of course in order to sneak in with the queen here and deliver checkmate rook takes d6 and now it's a forced checkmate in six queen to h3 here king to g8 queen to h7 king to f7 bishop to g6 uh here in this position nikolic resigned but because uh, here if you try uh, king to e7 we can simply take and now queen to f8 and you can even uh, checkmate here on e8 or even a better a more attractive checkmate here with the move knight to e5 but okay the game was really bad for black uh, here in this position really such a great activity uh, with all of our pieces all over the board uh great great uh, attack against the dutch offense as i said with this knight to h3 idea i think you can use it sometimes in order to win games effectively against the dutch offense you see it seems to me that in this setup black has always troubles to defend uh, in order to activate his pieces uh this positional idea to get rid of the dark square bishop is i think something that bothers most of the times the dutch defense player and i think you can use this as i said opening line in order to beat uh, maybe finally the dutch defense so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot uh, great attack by the legendary vichy if you want to see more d4 uh, 
uh, opening theory check out my d4 series here's the link and uh, if you have troubles maybe to play as black check out my king's indian and nimzo indian defense series in which i show you nice and effective ways how to play against d4 and if you like this content you can also subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course